Hey, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are praise back. Praise the Lord. How you doing praise tonight? Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, it's so good to hear everybody up here tonight. It's been a while. I hadn't heard from y'all since 2022. <laughs> but we are back tonight. I'm so glad to be back on the Hour of Power broadcast. Everybody knows that I am Pastor Jamar Phil, y'all, here at Florida Rivers Ministries. We are a ministry that is on the move. I tell you, we've been having a good time on Sundays. And uh, I said, man, I've just been so spoiled by the, by the Florida Rivers Ministry on Sunday that I just hadn't got back to, to the Tuesday night broadcast, but the Lord let me know it was time to come back and everybody be a blessing to everybody. I hear Sister Tate out there. How you doing? I'm glad to hear from my, my, my intercessory lady. I'm all right. God bless you, Pastor Jamal. I'm doing wonderful. God is good. I'm blessed. Oh, man. Good to hear I hear you. Sister Susan, Susan Gordon's out there, too. I hear her. Sister Susan, how you doing? Oh, I'm trying to feel good to be back. Oh, I'm awesome. so, just so blessed to be back. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, man. I tell you, we got the, the North, the South, the East, and the West, people all over the world that are excited about Jesus, and we're just so glad that everybody's back. I think Sister Audrey's out there. Let me hear you say hello. Are you there, Sister Audrey? Sister Audrey, feel y'all? Praise the Lord. Praise the Praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Hello. Praise the Lord. I see Sister Joyce Bannerman out there. Sister Joyce, will you say hello? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see. The Wilsons out there. Let me hear the Wilsons. Let me hear a shout out from the Wilsons. Hello. 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 Ah, uh, I got the Bullocks out there. Where the Bullocks at? Where the Bullocks? <laughs> <laughs> They're somewhere out Check there. Mother Knox out, please. Check Mother Knox out, please. Mother Knox. Is Mother Knox on the line? I know some of them are still alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. And the many, many others, man. We got people from all over the place, man, that are just, I'm so excited about your future. I can tell you've been praying for me. Uh, this has been a season where, you know, we definitely need to be in prayer. Definitely need to be in prayer. And that's what we're going to talk about a few things tonight that I really believe is going to empower your life. Is going to bless you in a major way. Somebody out there just say, I'm excited. Type it in the text. Say it on the line. You won't bother us. I'm just excited. say, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Praise God, man. We're glad to be here. Um, let's jump right into the word. Let's just, that's what you came to hear. Let's jump right back into the word. Let's see what the Lord has to say tonight. Then of course, you know, before we get off, we get that fiery prayer from uh, mother Valina Tate, uh, who is a prophetess an intercessor, a woman of God. And we're just excited about that fire that's coming up after this fiery word from God. So if you have your Bibles tonight, which I hope you do, Everybody stay awake tonight. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter one. The book of Acts. Acts, the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Acts of the power of God. That's going to be our subject tonight. The gift of power. The gift of power. Acts chapter one, verse four. Of course, you know, I'm going to read some in the New Living Translation. I'm also going to read some in the King James Translation as well. But let's, we're going to the New Living Translation here. Um, Acts chapter one, verse four. The Bible says, once when he was eating with them, talking about Jesus, he commanded them, do not leave Jerusalem until the father sends you the gift he promised. As I told you before, John baptized you with water, but in just a few days, just be patient, just hold on. In just a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Let's go down to verse seven. He replied, the father alone 
has the authority. Oh, y'all, yes, oh, yes, Lord. The authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power. Lord, have mercy. Power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be witnesses telling people about me. Oh, yes, Lord. About me. Not about you. Not about your agenda. Not about what you got going on. But Jesus says you're going to tell people about me. Everywhere. In Jerusalem. Throughout Judea. In Samaria. And to the ends of the earth. Now, this is interesting. because. Of course, Jesus is talking to the believers, everybody that believes in Jesus. There, it's really easy for them to believe now because in many ways, he has shown them before he died on the cross that he is truly the son of God. He's shown them that. He's shown them through miracles, through healing the sick, opening up the eyes of the blind, He's shown them through feeding thousands with two fish and five loaves of bread. He's shown them through healing the lame and they begin to walk. He's shown them through various signs, wonders, and miracles. But then he died. We know that story. Died on the cross, tortured for our sins. They put him in a grave. He was buried. And in three days, he rose again, all right? So now that he's risen again, he's actually shown himself to the believers that believe in him over the last 40 days. It's been 40 days. He's been having conversations, dinners, eating with them, and at various times showing himself to different believers. You can actually see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 a little bit more in detail, but he's shown himself to many believers over the course of 40 days. And now he's having a conversation with them before he's about to ascend back to heaven. Now, this is interesting because he's given all of the believers, everyone who has gotten saved, everyone who trusts him for salvation. He's having a conversation about how life should go once he goes back to heaven. This is, the, this is what he wants. This is what he says we're going to have. And he starts here by saying, I want you to stay in Jerusalem because before you go out and do anything for me, I need you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I need you to be filled. I don't need, I don't need you even witnessing about me. I don't need you uh, doing any type of ministry about me unless... You have been filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't really need you representing me unless you've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Because this Holy Spirit is someone that I promised you back in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. That's when Jesus said to them uh, that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart. And with all your soul and with all your mind, he said, this is the first and great commandment. And the second is, is that thou shalt love thy neighbor as yourself. He says, I want you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want you to be a believer in me. But the foundation of all this is going to be love. Because it's, it's not going to make any sense. For you to go represent me or for you to have this power and the foundation of who you are in me is not love. My God. Love is going to have to be the prerequisite, the undergirder, the security, and the foundation of everything that you're going to do for me. This is how people are going to know that you represent me, that you're my witness, that you're my disciple that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. That's why he says the Holy Spirit, you're going to receive it 
when he comes upon you, he said, but then you're going to be my witness. And the only way that you're going to be my witness, the only way that they're going to know you are my witness is if you love one another. It's not going to make sense for me to give you a gift and I tell you to go heal somebody, but you decide to use that healing gift at your discretion. You decide that you only want to heal who you want to heal, or you decide that you only want to give a prophecy to who you want to give a prophecy, or you decide that you only want to uh, give a word of wisdom to who you want to give a word of wisdom. No, Jesus says, is that I want you to have this Holy Spirit because he's going to empower you to bless every believer that you come in contact with. Oh, have mercy. Oh, yeah. this is like a boss that's saying the only people you need to be really thinking about are people that's coming to Christ. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Or people that are already in Christ. This is an in-house blessing. This is an in-house miracle that you're going to take out to the world to bring more people in house. That's why if you're not desiring, if you're just a follower of Christ and you're not desiring the Holy spirit and desiring the gifts of the spirit, you need to check your love meter. Lord have mercy, Jesus, Lord Jesus. You need to check how much you love one another. Oh, because if you love folk like you want to love them or like you should love them, you wouldn't be satisfied seeing a person walking around on crutches. Lord have mercy. You wouldn't be satisfied seeing somebody rolling around in a wheelchair. Help me here. Lord have mercy. You wouldn't be satisfied going to the hospital and finding out people only have a certain amount of time to live. <laughs> You wouldn't be satisfied with walking around a blind man and, and, and having dinner and, and holding his hand around and, and not at least something on the inside telling you, I need the power to heal this person. I need the power to bring this person out. I need the power to help this person come out of their struggle. It's impossible. Lord, have mercy. Help me here. For you to have the love that Jesus loved. Remember what he says here in Matthew. He says, I want you to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Uh, but he said, I want you also to love your neighbor. If you look in John chapter 13, verse 34, Jesus says, a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another. As I have loved you, oh Lord, have mercy, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Let's talk about that. As, as you look at the life of Jesus, see, he's talking about the belief, talking to the believers that saw him, that spent time with him, and they saw him in the situations where people came to him and he did not turn them away if they had a need. Even if it wasn't the time, I'm reminded of the Seraphonician woman when it wasn't her time to be blessed. She said, even the dogs, after Jesus called her a dog, she said, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. And Jesus could not turn her away. I'm reminded when Jesus uh, took the, the, the another route on the way to his destination and stopped to the Samarian woman at the well. And that woman had five husbands. No, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. But Jesus said, I'm not going to let your five husbands block you from getting this miracle because I love you. I'm not going to let your ethnicity or your culture block you from getting the miracle because I love you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is the command that Jesus is talking about. He says, if you are going to, if I'm going to give you this power, I'm going to give you something that's going to bless folk all over the world. And the way that you're going to be uh, intrigued or, or, or motivated to go to the rest of the world is you got to love them. That's the only reason you go to a third world country. You love them. That's the only reason you go to the hood, to the projects, is because you love them. That's the only reason you go to the homeless man on the street and you don't walk by him without at least asking him, do he need a hamburger? <laughs> Glory to God. Because you love them. 
That's the only reason you'll volunteer at the woman's shelter or, or, or the homeless shelter or the orphanage because you recognize that they need a, they have a need. And because of this power that God has empowered me with, I'm able to meet some of their needs. This Holy Ghost, this Holy Ghost that he's talking about. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse seven says, the Holy Ghost, uh, it's a spiritual gift. He gives you a spiritual gift that is given to each one of us so we can help each other. That's what 1 Corinthians 12 and 7 says. The Holy Ghost is given to us so we can help each other. I'm going to say that again. I don't want to sound redundant, but the Holy Ghost is given to us so we can help each other. Woo! Glory to God. I know a lot of people thought they got it to jump and shout. I know a lot of people thought they got it to roll and to preach and to, and to do all of the mannerism that goes on in the church. But the Holy Ghost is given to you so that you can help one another. You can help them. If you're not helping anybody, you got to get another dose of the Holy Ghost. Lord, help me here. Lord Jesus, help me here. If you're not helping them, if you're not flowing in the supernatural miracles of God, you need to begin to seek after God until he gives you another dose of the Holy Ghost. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. As you go to Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse 1, it says, on the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. So that means every believer, all, everybody needs the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you need the Holy Ghost. Everybody needs the Holy Ghost because all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven, like the roaring mighty windstorm. And it filled the house where they were sitting. And the Bible says, then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. Somebody ought to say each of them. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody got the tongues. And verse four says, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. King James says that the Spirit gave them the utterance. They began to speak in tongues. Not one believer, not four believers, not 10 believers, but all 120 believers who were gathered in the upper room were healed with the Holy Ghost. Everybody, Lord have mercy. Jesus says, I'm telling you tonight, that it is important for you to have the Holy Ghost and it is important for you to flow in the Holy Ghost for the Bible to be fulfilled and functioned in your life. Lord have mercy. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me. I know it might sound old fashioned because everybody's become so intellectual and everybody wants to intellectualize everything and everybody wants to be smart and everybody wants to be rich, and nobody wants to, no, Jesus said, if you are a follower and a believer of me, and if you love me and you love your neighbor, you should be speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Jesus says it's important for you to have the Holy Ghost. That's why so many are going without because they don't have the help they need because they're around a bunch of people who say they believe, but don't speak in tongues. Oh Lord, help me here. Tony, they might shut me off for this. <laughs> Glory to God. I got to preach it anyway. Now preach it anyway. You should be speaking in tongues. If you haven't spoken in tongues in the last 50 years, you need to get on your face. Lord help. 
If you ain't spoken in tongues in the last 20 years, you need to get back on your face. Hey, my God. If you ain't spoken in tongues in the last five years, you need to get on your face. Oh, I'm going to come for you. I'm coming for you. If you ain't spoken in tongues in the last week, you need to get on your face. My God, my God. If you hadn't spoken in tongues since yesterday, glory to God. You need to get on your faith. It is important to Jesus and it is important to your walk in Christ that you are filled with the Holy Ghost and that you are speaking in tongues. Uh, God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm tired of my people and this ritual that they have, that they got to wait on somebody to come in the next six months to lay hands on them for them to get their healing. God says something is wrong with that. Hallelujah. Something is wrong with you when you got to wait for somebody to come from all the way around the globe to give you a prophecy. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me. <laughs> Something is wrong when you got to wait for somebody to come from, hallelujah, Africa before they can give you a word of wisdom. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing here. Something is wrong when you got to wait for somebody to come from Japan just to give you, hallelujah, a, 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 a miracle in your life. He said there should be believers all around you who are filled with the power of God. Hallelujah. They are filled with the Holy Ghost of God. He's the God himself. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, once it gets inside of you, mm -mm 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 -mm. he just don't get in your belly. Hallelujah. But when you fellowship with the Holy Ghost, he'll get in your eyes. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. Hallelujah. When you get the Holy Ghost, he'll get in your mouth. He'll get all in your, hallelujah, in your ears. Hallelujah. He'll get in your hands. He'll get in your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of them places you used to go. Hallelujah. If you're a fellowship with the Holy Ghost, <laughs> speak in tongues on a daily basis. Hallelujah. There's some places you can't go because the Holy Ghost will convict you. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. There's some things that you can't say because the Holy Ghost will get in you. Hallelujah. There's some movies, some shows that you can't watch. Watch because the Holy Ghost is in you. Hallelujah. And when you get ready to move in the power of God, it will take no whole hour to pray for a miracle. When you got the Holy Ghost, you can speak the word and miracles will begin to happen. Hallelujah. When you got the Holy Ghost, the prophecies are just flow. You'll mess around and prophesy to everybody you meet. Uh, they'll say every time I see him he's always prophesying <laughs> every time I see her she's always laying hands on the sick hallelujah every time I see him he's always 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 interpreting tongues hallelujah every time I see him they're always flowing in the Holy Ghost when will the church get back to this free gift of power glory to God, glory to God. tongues that's what I want to talk about tonight. You need to be speaking in tongues. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tongues are one of the three inspirational gifts. Uh, there's nine gifts of the spirit that Paul, the apostle Paul speaks about yes. in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, but three of the inspirational gifts are diverse kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues and prophecy. These are gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Bible says in first uh, Corinthians chapter 12, that when you receive the Holy ghost, when you speak in tongues, that the Holy ghost brings a gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues is the initial evidence Hallelujah. Of the Holy Ghost in your life. And he's bringing a gift to everyone who has the Holy Ghost. Now, you might hear me say Holy Ghost from the King James Version. You may hear me say Holy Spirit from the New Living. They're the same one. One Spirit yes. of God. And the Bible says that these gifts that the Holy Ghost brings in your life are to edify to exhort you, to comfort you, to bless your life, and to bless every one of the believers that you meet. 
This gift of tongues, this speaking in tongues we're talking about tonight is a gift that communicates in a foreign language that you do not have experience with. You might know Spanish, but if you're speaking in Spanish and it's not by the Holy Ghost, we understand that. But if you don't know Chinese, <laughs> and the Holy Ghost allows you to speak Chinese to another Chinese person, that's the spirit of God that wants to edify, exhort, and comfort that person in a language that they can speak. Oh, yeah. That's why on the day of Pentecost, if you read a little bit farther in Acts chapter 2, you'll see where uh, they different people that spoke different languages, they heard the people speaking in their language. And they knew that the people that were speaking in tongues did not have any prior training to speak in their language. And they said, they're mm -hmm. speaking in my language. It was because the Holy Ghost supernaturally gave them the ability to be able to speak in a foreign language. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But not only does the Holy Ghost allow you to speak in other people's languages, but the Holy Ghost allows you to speak with tongues of angels. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, the Apostle Paul says, if I could speak all the languages on earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. Mm -hmm. See, the Holy Spirit yeah. speaks mystery languages. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. Because for every believer, you'll find out that there's angels all around. Yeah, I know you yeah. like talking about demons being all around. I know you like to talk about the darkness that's around you, but God does not let you be uh, standing in a place full of demons without angelic security. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Go over go. Go over that's why when you go to Hebrews chapter one, verse 14, you'll see that the angels are around you to help those who have salvation. Lord have mercy. And if you are able, if you got the Holy Ghost and you're able to speak in tongues, God can give you the right communication with the angels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you get in your prayer, when you get in your prayer time, you can, hallelujah, speak in tongues of angels and give the angels the directives in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. When you don't know what to pray for. You can give the angels, yes. hallelujah, directions in the spirit realm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can speak with tongues of angels. Woo, glory to God. Why aren't you speaking in tongues every day? You want to know why you got so much warfare? Why are you about to lose it? Why are you about to lose your mind? Why there's so much craziness going on? It's because you haven't learned to pray in tongues. <laughs> Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. You ought to be speaking in tongues for at least an hour a day. Hallelujah. At least an hour. You ought to be praying and speaking in tongues. That's your heavenly language that God has given you to speak in the spirit realm. Yes. Yes. This yes. gift will bless you as well. Others, it's a gift where you don't even have to have others around. This gift is so sweet. This gift of speaking in tongues is so sweet. It'll bless and edify yourself. Yes, it <laughs> Glory will. to God. It'll give you a amen, refreshing amen. when you need the rain. Hallelujah. When you need some spiritual rain on your life, you ought to say, I just need to get to my space where I can pray in tongues. <laughs> hey, my God, yeah. my God. Hallelujah. You ought to have you a prayer closet whether you get a prayer shawl and lay down before God and you ought to have your time where you're speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. That's why you're feeling so drained. Hallelujah. Because you need to speak in tongues. That's why folk can come in and twist your whole, hallelujah, hallelujah your whole mood up is because you're being led by the flesh when God is saying you need to be led by the spirit, you need to get in the spirit. You need to talk in the spirit. You need to sing in the spirit. 
spirit. And when you get in the spirit and begin to speak in tongues, you'll begin to see miracles happen. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18, the apostle Paul says, I spoke in tongues more than anybody. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, I spoke in tongues more than anybody. You can write that down. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18. I spoke in tongues more than them all. There wasn't nobody speaking in tongues more than me, what the apostle Paul was saying. How do you think he going to write all these books in the New Testament and not be speaking in tongues? <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. How do you think he going to be working all these miracles and starting all these churches hallelujah, without speaking in tongues? How do you think he able to go to the worst Gentiles on the earth, the worst pagans and out of God worshipers on the earth and bless people to get saved and bless people to get, oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me here. How do you think he was able to be in the dungeon of a jailhouse and him and Silas begin to sing until mm -hmm. suddenly the plans fell from their, hallelujah, fell from their arms. How do you think they were able to do that without speaking in tongues? <laughs> I feel the Holy Ghost here. Hallelujah. How do you think he was able to do all of these miracles without speaking in tongues? Hallelujah. You want the miracles? You want the bands to begin to fall? Hallelujah. You want to have those visions in the third heaven? You better start speaking in tongues. You better start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 22. It says, therefore tongues are for a sign. Not for those who believe, but to the unbelievers. He's talking about in a corporate setting. He said, but prophesying is not for unbelievers, but for those who believe. We see this evidence of speaking in tongues. Of course, like we said on the day of Pentecost, it's that spiritual communication from God. But if you go back down to verse two of chapter 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse two, we'll see that Paul says, for he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but speak to God. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say that again. I'm gonna say that again. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but speak to God. My God, but my God. No one understands him. However, in the spirit, when he speaks in tongues, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. <laughs> my God, my Ooh. God. Hey, I'm trying to take you deeper tonight. Glory to God. We done been on the surface the last three years. God said, it's time to go deeper. Hallelujah. Okay. Glory to God. He says, so you've been praying a lot in English. Hallelujah. But he said, when you really want to get a message to God, you need to be speaking in tongues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I didn't say it. He said it. First Corinthians yeah. chapter 14, verse two, he said, he said, for he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Somebody needs something from the Lord. You've been trying to get a message to God. Hallelujah. You need to start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Yeah. As the spirit give the utterance. Hallelujah. If you ain't got the spirit, you can't speak in tongues. Hallelujah. But those that have the spirit of the Holy Ghost, you need to get on your face until you're able to speak in tongues. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you need to get on your face until God give you the tongues. You missing out yeah. on speaking the mysteries of God. You missing out on going to the different levels in God. And the basis, the basis of you not seeking this experience is because you don't love like you're supposed to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because those that want the Holy Ghost, they do it because they love. Hallelujah. I want to bless somebody. I want the power so I can bless somebody. I want the power so I can speak a word to somebody. I want the power 
till I can lay hands on somebody. I'm tired of seeing folk walking in the boots. I'm tired of seeing the folk, hallelujah, changing their gender. Oh, yes, I said it. I'm tired of seeing the folk, hallelujah, going through every type of drunkenness, every type of drug, every type of fornication, every type of adultery. No, 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 no. They go in the church, and the church is now beginning to accept a lot of this sin. And the reason they're doing it is because they're not flowing in the Holy Ghost. Oh, hey, glory to God. Mm. Ain't no way you can endorse sin being full of the Holy Ghost. Y'all can't say that. Yeah. Ain't no way you can endorse sin being full of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Mark chapter 16. Verse 17, Jesus says in Mark 16 and 17, he says, and these signs, <coughs> these signs will follow those who believe. These signs, these signs, are you seeing any signs? These signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me up in here. Hallelujah. If you believe, there ought to be a sign. Glory to God. There ought to be a sign. Hallelujah. You ought to be speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Glory. And casting out devils. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You ought to be so full of power that that devil begin to scream out. Hallelujah. He begins to scream out. A lot of times them demons don't want to come out there and say any old thing. Hallelujah. But that devil ought to begin to scream until you who are full of the Holy Ghost tell that devil you got to get up out of here. Hallelujah. Get up out of Susie. Hallelujah. Get up out of Gerald. Hallelujah. Get up out of Tommy. Hallelujah. Get up out of Barry. You got to come out of that devil because I'm saying it in the name of Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. And I got the power and the authority to do it. Yes, Lord. The Bible says in Colossians 3 and 16, Colossians 3 and 16 says, this gift can function by speaking and singing. Matter of fact, if you go to the book of James chapter five, he'll tell you how singing these hymns and psalms and spiritual songs. And Colossians says here, singing in tongues, singing in the spirit. You'll see it'll bring you great joy. It'll bring you great peace. It'll bring you great deliverance. When you begin to speak in tongues, when you, hey, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you begin to sing in tongues, it'll begin to change your whole atmosphere. When you begin to sing in tongues, it'll begin to get that darkness out of your house. <laughs> when you begin to speak in tongues, hallelujah, it begin to get that darkness out of your life. Glory to God. When you begin to speak in tongues, in your prayer language, glory to God, you begin to speak the mysteries of God. You begin to unlock mysteries of God. You begin to unlock blessings in the spiritual realm. There's blessings that are hovering over you. But you haven't learned how to pray in the spirit. Glory to God. I love what Daniel chapter 10 says. Daniel chapter 10, Daniel prayed. But he was having a problem getting his miracle. And the angel came to Daniel in Daniel chapter 10 and says, Daniel, we heard you the first time you were praying in the spirit. My God, my God, my God. Daniel, we heard you the first time. Because in the Old Testament, there was a few people God picked and chose who would have the Holy Spirit. That's why David could say in Psalm mm -hmm. 51, Lord, whatever you do, don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. But when we get to the new covenant in the New Testament, when Jesus dies, everybody can have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So the angel told Daniel, said, we heard you the first day. Ah, but we was trying to get you the miracle, but we were held up by an evil spirit of Persia. And I had to call for Michael, the archangel, to get you your miracle. I want to tell somebody tonight that your miracle is hovering over your head, but the enemy is trying to block it. And God sent me here to tell you, if you're praying in the spirit, 
in some mysteries you can speak. You begin to speak to the angels. You begin to unlock some miracles. You begin to call for the angel. You begin to unlock some miracles that are going to flow to you if you're praying the spirit. Hallelujah. God said, get in the spirit. You're going to unlock it. Get in the spirit. You're going to release it. Get in the spirit and you shall have it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Acts 10 and 46 that tongues, with the tongues, you magnify God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14 and 4, it says you edify yourself. You build up yourself. You strengthen yourself. Hallelujah. What am I saying then? If you pray in the spirit, God is going to release some things to you. This should be especially important to intercessory prayer warriors. When you are praying for others, when you're interceding on somebody else's behalf, you don't know everything that the person is going through unless the spirit shows you. Hallelujah. Unless the spirit gives you indication of the root of the problem. Because God says in this season, he needs for us to get in the spirit because too many people have been praying for the surface of an issue. Hallelujah. But yeah. God said, I want you to get from the surface and get down to the root. Hallelujah. That's why it's important, hallelujah, to prophesy. Romano Hoshikata. Because prophets don't just see the surface of a problem, but the prophets are able to get down to the root of the issue. Hallelujah. If you remember, God told Jeremiah, I call you to root it up. Hey, my God, my God. I call you to tear it up, root it up, root it. Hallelujah. Some of these things in people, there's got to be rooted up. Hallelujah. It's got to come out. And the only one that's going to be rooted up, you got to go in the spirit. The spirit got to take you to that dimension. Hallelujah. That's why I got to speak in tongues. The spirit got to take me to the dimension where the root happened. So I can speak yeah. to the root. Hallelujah. And the root got to come up so the person can get delivered. Hallelujah. Somebody, they got to get in the spirit. So they can go down 50 years. Some of them can go down 100 years. So when your great, great, great grandmama and your great, great, great grandfather made an oath that they shouldn't have made. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me up in here. They made some promises or they did some things that they shouldn't do. Hallelujah. Because you got to root that situation up. That's why when Jesus would come to somebody that needed to be healed. Hallelujah. The disciple asked, what did the parent, hallelujah, sin? Is this why this person is in trouble? Did their parents sin? And Jesus would give them, hallelujah, the explanation of the root of the problem. That's why when you go to the doctor, the doctor want to know what is your family health history. Hallelujah. Because they say the reason that you got this problem in your body is because there's a root somewhere. So you got to get to the root of the situation. And the only way you can know what the root is, you got to get down in the spirit. Hallelujah. Until God show you what the hallelujah, what it is. He said, you don't know what to pray for. Hallelujah. That's why you got to pray in the tongues. Because the tongue can know the mystery of what's going on in the situation. Glory to God. I'm almost done. Sister Tate, I want you to go ahead and get ready. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 26 says this. The Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Yes. yes. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. But the Holy Spirit prays for us. He gets mm -hmm. down to the root of the situation he gets down hallelujah. to the mystery <laughs> glory to god yeah. hallelujah glory to god and usually when you're praying in tongues if you would strongly desire the other gifts of the hallelujah. spirit ah oh, god said i'm not discriminating he said if i see you loving and you speaking in tongues and you want more gifts, he says, strongly desire them. Uh, oh, yeah. Begin to get down on your face and ask God about it. 
Begin to seek God for the gift. Begin to study about that gift. Begin to meditate on that gift. Begin to, hallelujah, strongly desire that gift. Uh, and you're going to find out one day when you're speaking in tongues, the Spirit will allow you to flow into another gift. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me up in here. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That's why most of the time you'll hear a prophet. Hallelujah. Before he'll give you a prophecy, he'll have to get somewhere and speak in tongues for a minute. Yeah. Hey, my yeah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He, he time of Glory to God. When you want to see a miracle, get ready to happen. A lot of time you'll see somebody speak in tongues for a little bit. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you want to hear, hallelujah, a word of miracles. Hallelujah. Get a word of wisdom and see a miracle and see some healing. You'll see somebody speak in tongues for a little bit. I come to tell somebody God has given you a free gift of power. And he, called, he told me to tell you tonight that he's not discriminating on anybody who wants this power of the Holy Ghost with speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. If you haven't spoken in tongues, you ought to go before God tonight and don't get up until you begin to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. If you don't get it tonight, don't you quit. Hallelujah. Get back on your face tomorrow night until the Lord gives you a refreshing of speaking in tongues. Hey, my God, my God. Somebody need a refill. Somebody need a refreshing. Hallelujah. Somebody need a breakthrough. Don't get up off your face until you start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Don't try to make yourself speak in tongues. Hallelujah. You got the weight of the spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hatabo Hoshekanama. Glory to God. That's your gift to have. Yeah, Lord. Everybody who has given their life to Jesus Christ, it's your gift to have. Hallelujah. I don't care if you've been in the streets. Hallelujah. If you decide to give your life to Jesus, you can speak in tongues too. Glory to God. I don't care if you've been out there shacking up. Hallelujah. If you decide to give your life to Jesus, you can speak in tongues. Hallelujah. I don't care if you've been out there, if you're in the general house, if you're in the prison, if you're in the crack house, if you'll make up your mind and come to Jesus, he said, I'll give you the gift of speaking in tongues. I don't care if you're out there, hallelujah, holding around, committing adultery, hallelujah. I don't care if you've been watching pornography. He said, if you're turning to me, hallelujah, Jesus said, all oh, come on to me, all oh, ye that are heavy and heavy laden. He said, I'm ready to, hallelujah, give me this. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Jesus said, I'm calling everybody from the north, south, hallelujah, and the east and the west. While you got the time, you need to come to Jesus. And he said, if you'll come, 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 come. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He said, if you come on back to me, hallelujah, come on back. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, hallelujah, that I'm an ambassador for Christ. We are ambassadors and we're begging you to come back to God because in the blood of Jesus, he reconciled everybody to himself. Everybody that received him, hallelujah, he said, I'll give you salvation. Hallelujah, he said, I'll yes. redeem your soul. Hallelujah, I'll bring you back out of the mire clay. Hallelujah, and I'll place your feet upon a rock to stay. You don't have to be condemned about your past. You don't have to be shamed about your past. You don't have to be guilty about your past because the blood of Jesus will wash away your sin. What hallelujah can wash away all of my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus it can make me whole again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I know you used to be in the street. Yeah, Lord, and I know you used to be in the sin, but the Lord said, if you'll come back to me, I'll reconcile you back to the presence of God. Oh, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. And when you get in the presence of God, he said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God said, I'll free up them bounds that been on your ankles. All of them chains. All of them fetters. 
all of that struggle, all of that sickness, the blood, the blood, the blood. Somebody ought to shout the blood. I tell you, the blood. The blood will bring you back to God. And God said, when you get back, you don't have to worry about coming back empty handed. I got a gift for you. Hallelujah. He said, that yeah. gift is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And that gift will come with speaking in tongues. Because God yeah. said, I want to have a conversation with you. God said, I want to speak to you in the middle of the night. He said, I want to yeah. speak to you in your dreams. I want to speak to you in the vision. Ah, because this was that that the prophet Joel told us. Hallelujah. That after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall have power. Hallelujah. In the last days, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Y'all ain't going to say nothing yeah. to me here. And the young men and the old men will see visions and have dreams. The reason you ain't been having no vision. The reason you ain't been having no dreams is because you ain't been speaking in tongues. As the Spirit give the utterance. Glory to God. Notice that Peter, he did not say you would have a dream and a vision before they spoke in tongues. He didn't say that you would prophesy before they spoke in tongues, but after that they spoke in tongues, he said, this is that. He said, this is that that Joel spoke about, that in the last days you shall, hallelujah, after you receive the Holy Ghost. Sister, take this in your hands. I'm done. God bless you. We thank you, oh God, for that rich word, oh God, coming from your servant, Pastor Jamal. We thank you, oh God, because hallelujah, glory to God. After that, the Holy Ghost has come. We shall have power. And we thank you, oh God, because, hallelujah, we are recipients of that power, glory to God, when we go to God, hallelujah, glory to calling on his name, looking for him to do a new thing in our lives. He come on the higher, glory to God, after that the Holy Ghost has come, we shall have power. And we're looking, hallelujah, for that power to be manifested in us, glory to God, all we got to do. It's called on Jesus. Hallelujah. And he'll come in and he'll fix us. Hallelujah. From the end. He'll put that Holy Ghost within us. So we'll be able to carry out the assignment that he has given us to carry out in the earth. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you for a great anointing on Ella Jamar tonight. We thank you for a great anointing. I'm going to need kingdom. Yeah, the Lord said you got a great anointing. You're coming in there. You got a greater power to help, uh, no, uh, to help my people. Glory to God. And we heard your word. Hallelujah. We heard the word that the Lord gave you tonight, Pastor Jamal, and we received it. Hallelujah. We received the word that the Lord has said. And we ask you, oh God, to touch us and touch your economy. Touch our hearts tonight. Touch our minds tonight. Touch us. Yeah. Glory to God. And yeah. we'll be able. Hallelujah. To seek you the way you want us to seek you. That yeah. the Holy Ghost will come with the speaking in tongues the way you want it to come. Hallelujah. We want to do it your way. We want your will to work in us, oh God. We want your glory to be revealed in us like never before. Hallelujah. We set down, oh God, on faith, oh God, that we might be able, hallelujah, to do the things that you have called for us to do, oh God. And we know. In order to carry out the assignment that you have given us to carry out, we got to have the Holy Ghost to do it. Hallelujah. We're so glad. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the power of the Holy Ghost that you have. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All of us and all we got to do is seek. You should seek ye the Lord under my feet. Come on the high. Yeah. The Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. And we'll seek ye, oh God, wholeheartedly. And we're calling upon you while you are near. You come there to my soul, oh my God. So the Holy Ghost will come in like never before that we can be used. Oh, glory to God. To help your people everywhere. 
People are in sin and people are dying, oh God. Hallelujah, with hallelujah, wrapped and tied up in sin. But oh God, you have to able to destroy the yokes of the enemy and break the bondages of the enemy. Let us go forth in you and do your will in the name of Jesus. We want to do what you want us to do. We want to say what you want us to say. We want to live the way you want us to live. And in order to live that way, we got to have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Speaking with other tongues. And we are so glad that it is available for us, oh God. Hallelujah. Who we'll seek you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we're seeking you, oh God. Hallelujah. We might be able to be empowered even more, oh God. Even though the so cold, they eat in the higher. The Lord is with us on this line tonight. He will move in the hearts and the minds of his people that we'll be able to reach out and help other souls to come to him and be saved and Holy Ghost feel that we can go about doing hallelujah the works like the apostles did. They heal the sick, they cast out devils. Hallelujah, because they have that power. Hallelujah, and we thank you, oh God, because it's available for us and you have given it to us, oh God. We have, we have it, you have given it to us and we want to thank you from the depths of our hearts for what you have done and what you are going to do, oh God. And what you are doing, glory to God, glory to God. Help your people, oh God, come back. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that you would save souls. Hallelujah. Baptize them with the Holy Ghost power. And let your Lord rest in your people like no before. In the name of Jesus, we're waiting on you, oh God, to do a new thing, oh God, within us and through us and for us, oh God. Let the joy of the Lord, hallelujah, bring out our limits, hallelujah. Let us be able to pray in the Holy Ghost, oh God. Hallelujah, the joy of the Lord be within us. Let us come forth right now before under the anointing, oh God. Hallelujah, help your people everywhere. Bring us to the place you want us to be, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that miracles will come forth, oh God, for your people and through your people, oh God, that we'll carry out the assignment that you give us to carry out in there for you. Yea, the Lord is with us tonight. He wants to bless tonight. He wants to save tonight. He wants to fill with the Holy Ghost tonight. He wants to heal those that are sick. Come, never mind, catch that devil. We're with you, oh God, hallelujah. In the hallelujah, in the area that you have us in, to do your will. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. Amen, and thank God. Amen. Thank you, amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you We give you we give yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the spirit work in the world. Let the spirit work in the world. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for the prayer warmers and the prayer intercessions, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That will stand before you, oh God. What you want done, oh God. Let us continue to call on you, oh God. And let the Holy Ghost pray to us and intercede, oh God. That we'll be able to intercede for others, oh God. That they will come forward, oh God, and carry out the body. That you will give us and carry out for you, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. The time that comes that we will be able to carry out the vision that you give us and carry out. Hallelujah. We know you don't have to carry it out. We must be able to speak with tongues, oh God, and the Spirit gives us all of us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, let the be Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. 
Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Be manifested in real, oh God, that the healing will come forth. Hallelujah. He will come forth. Deliverance will come forth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. And I'm trying to walk in my faith. We look at your power from all hollow. As we seek you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will work miracles that I have. You will work miracles. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, yeah. glory, yeah. glory, glory, yeah. glory, yeah. glory. Yeah. Everybody yeah. on the line, we pray that you will go low. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're back on the line. We're back on the line. Hey, glory, 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 glory. You have given us a chance to do it again. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, 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 glory, glory, glory. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Hey, Tabo Hoshi, Canada, my soul. My God, my God. God. My God, my God, my God. Hey, my God, my God. Yes, Jesus. Hey, my God, my God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give God a prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory, glory, glory. 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 Hallelujah. Don't leave till you get your miracle. Don't leave till you get your miracle. Everybody wash your mama. Let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord have his way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, my God, my God. Hallelujah. 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 He said, I want my people full of the Holy Ghost. Hey, my God. Hallelujah. 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 God has given us such a wonderful gift. He's given us such a wonderful gift. Oh, yes. You should be excited it. about you your gift. It. Hallelujah. Yes. You ought to be excited Hallelujah. about it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever you get Hallelujah. off tonight, Hallelujah. you ought to get in your closet. Hallelujah. And you ought to pray in tongues. Yes. And you ought to pray yes. until the tongues, till you just can't control yourself. <laughs> God says, I'm looking for people who are hungry for me again. He says, I'm looking for people who are in love with me, who can't live without me, who can't wait to get in my presence so that I can speak to them. God said, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to fellowship with you. I want to live in you. I want to stretch out in you. I said, I want to heal you. Glory to God. Hey, glory to God. 
He says, Hallelujah. it's my good pleasure to give my children the kingdom. It's my good pleasure. You are under new authority. You have the almighty God himself who decided to adopt us a long time ago. Ephesians chapter one. He wanted to adopt us a long time ago. And in this kingdom, we got a language. My God, my God. In this kingdom, we have a language. Yes, the Holy Spirit gives us this language. So when you don't understand everything, you need to learn to speak in the language of the kingdom. Glory to God. You need to speak in the language of the kingdom. Yeah, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, Lord, I said, I'm ready for the people to arise. There are too many yes, gifts Lord. going in the grave. Too many Help gifts us, Lord. Us, Lord. hanging on the street. It's time to get mm. the young people. Oh, yes. I'm talking about your babies. We ought to get the Holy Ghost in elementary school. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, glory to God. They ought to see you speaking in tongues and want to do the same thing. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm glad to be back. As we leave this line, I want you to leave with the intention of spending some time with God every yes, day. Yes. At least an hour. If you'll spend at least an hour with God, you'll see things begin to change in your life in a major way. Oh, Y'all yeah. hear me tonight? I'm talking about if you'll spend an hour with God, you'll begin to see things change in a major way. If you don't know what to say, tell him to give you your language so you can speak in tongues. He, will, he'll do it. he knows what to say. Hey, glory to God. He knows what to say. He knows, oh yes. He knows what to say. Huh? <laughs> and he's going to fix it for you. I'm telling you the Lord. He is, oh yes, oh yes. He's going to fix it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, saints of God, we back. We back. And so tune in on Tuesday nights at 8.30. Tell somebody about this line. Tell five people. We need this line filled up. Tell five people about this line. We want everybody to be blessed by this word. Remember, if you want to sow into the ministry, please cash up, cash up, dollar sign, Jamar Phil, y'all. That's dollar sign, J-A-M-A-R-F-I-L-L-Y-A-W. That's again, dollar sign, J-A-M-A-R-F-I-L-L-Y-A-W. Definitely don't be afraid of sowing. We'd be glad to have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. Tell five people, five people, we need this line filled up. Five more people. Tell them the fire is burning at the hour of power broadcast on Tuesday night. Thank you so much, Brother Tony Bullock. We back. Hallelujah. Four Women's Ministries, we're back. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the fire burning in Jesus' name. Sister Tate, we love you. Thank you so much for the fire of prayer. The yes, fire yes, yes. Of prayer. Amen. We thank you so much. So much. We thank God for everybody on the line. And until next week, remember if you believe in Jesus, as the scriptures have said, then out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of blessing. Out of your belly.